This is Hemin and welcome to another new video. I want to draw an attention a little bit before we continue watching the next clips. It's because I thought I should explain why we are suddenly watching a bunch of Japan vlogs on my art channel. The main reason why we went to Japan is because A. We wanted to have a long holiday after visiting my family in Korea and I really wanted to show how was the holiday and all of the amazing places we went. B. Most the stuff in Japan is pretty affordable compared to Australia. So I wanted to upgrade some of my art supplies while we are in Japan and I filmed inside of the stores a little bit to show you guys how cozy they were. I really loved being there. I don't know how much time I've spent at each art store. The day we got to Osaka was the official day that I actually started looking for and explore some cool art stores. In a couple of upcoming Japan vlogs, you can expect to see my adventure of exploring some cozy, lovely, wholesome art stores that I have found in Japan. The first art store we went is called Kawachi. It's on the second floor in the building where Google points. When you get to the floor and the elevator opens, you will see lots of picture frames displayed first. And once you enter the shop, right in front of the door, there was a little lovely art community. I think they were having an art class. The sound of the group of people and the music playing in the background were really, really cozy. Really felt like I was in the Animal Crossing. I really liked the price of this toner acrylic gouache section. The price was really cheap and the many colors of them doesn't exist in Adelaide. It literally felt like I was in the heaven. Now I want to show you guys what I got from the art supply store and generally how I felt about the art supply stores in Japan. Whenever I bought some stuff at 
they can't have any art stores in Osaka, Kyoto, and Tokyo. I really like that they always pack them with a wrapping paper and put a little piece of washi tape on it instead of putting everything in a plastic bag. So I just kept them in my suitcase until I got back to Australia. I thought that'd be safer. When I got back home and unwrapped them, it actually made me feel like I was unboxing a birthday present or Christmas present. So from the other supply store, in the end, I got two supplies. The first one is this uh, 40 millimeters of white acrylic gouache from Turner brand. I thought that was the most practical supplies that I always need. And the other one I got this Turner acrylic gouache set. It has 12 colors. Look at the beautiful cover. I think it is the coolest illustrated cover of gouache set that I ever seen in my life. I think Yusuke Nakamura is the illustrator who drew this cover. I think it was a really good souvenir and good gift for myself. This set has three pastel colors and one gold color. I've never had those colors before, so I'm very looking forward to trying them out. Out.
After we had a taiyaki, we went to an art store called Kyukyodo. I didn't buy much from this shop because most of them were very expensive and I thought it was not the kind of a place where we can afford. It felt very much like a museum or a gift shop, but I really liked the vibe inside of the shop and the way how this played. On our way to Jita Bookstore, we saw an aesthetic old bookshop looking like a Pinterest building and then we decided to go and have a look inside. We don't know what is the name of the bookshop and the address but we thought it was really really cool and the owner was really kind and friendly. In case you guys are interested in the bookshop to check out, find the Kyoto City Hall on the Google Map first and then walk to the north direction in the left side of the Kyoto City Hall. It should take less than 2 minutes.